Hello, Manson friends, and welcome to today's lesson about the blue zone. Feeling blue means that you're feeling tired, sad, or bored. And some other feelings in this zone might be disappointed or sick or hurt. Those are some other feelings in this zone. When we are in blue zone, our bodies and our brains are moving a little slowly. And we're going to see what that looks like in some different situations. Let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is talk about each one of these four different pictures here. And you guys will see an example of what blue zone behaviors look like in each of these places. Then we're going to decide if those behaviors are expected or unexpected in these four places. So let's get started. First, we have school. Do you think blue zone behaviors are expected at school? Let's go to our friends to find out. <laughs> I feel sad. Do you feel sad too, Cloudy? Yeah, I feel sad. I feel sad. <laughs> I know me too. <laughs> I feel like I can't do any work just because I feel so sad. <sighs> I feel bored. Do you feel bored too, Cloudy? Mm-hmm. <sighs> All right, thank you for that great example. You guys just saw what it looks like to have blue zone behaviors at school. So do you think that was expected or unexpected? Hmm. I think it is unexpected to have blue zone behaviors at school because when we're in the green zone, we are alert and happy and focused and ready to learn. That's where we want to be during school. If we're feeling tired or sad or bored at school, we're not able to learn. So that is unexpected. Let's go ahead and circle that one together. So we're going to circle school because it is unexpected to have blue behaviors at school. Next, a carnival. A carnival is a place with games and rides. You guys may have been to one in our town or in Waterville or at one of the county fairs and seen these. We also sometimes have Halloween carnivals in our local town. So let's see what it would look like to have blue zone behaviors, tired, sad, bored, at a carnival. Take it away, friends. I don't even know why I'm here. I feel so sad today. I'm just gonna go cry over there. What about you, dog? You think so? Yeah, he feels pretty sad too. <laughs> it's okay. We'll be okay. It's okay. Carnivals are so boring. Uh, mm -hmm. I think Cloudy agrees too. I don't even like carnivals. Oh, it's so boring. I don't want to be here. <sighs> Are you sleepy too? I kind of want to just take a nap. It's kind of it's hard to do games when I feel so sleepy. Mm-hmm. Cloudy thinks so too. You want to go home and take a nap? 
Yeah, let's do that. Awesome. Thank you guys for showing us what that looks like to have blue zone behaviors at a carnival. What do my friends at Manson think? Was that expected or unexpected to have blue zone behaviors at a carnival? You're right. That's pretty unexpected. Carnivals are happy places with games and fun things. Usually we want people and ourselves to feel in like we are in the green zone at a carnival. So we're going to circle this picture right here. Awesome job. Just a quick reminder that it is okay to have blue zone behaviors at school and at the carnival. It might be unexpected, but it's totally okay. And we're gonna learn what to do if you're feeling blue in an unexpected place. Next, we're gonna move on to this picture right here, talking to a friend. Let's see what it looks like to have blue zone behaviors when talking to a friend. Take it away. So as I was saying, Cloudy, we are gonna be going to the restaurant this weekend and I'm so excited to eat their pizza. And I just, are you even listening to me? Are you, are you yawning? What's what's going on? I don't I don't really know what's happening. I feel like I feel like are you bored? Oh, are you okay? I I still want to tell my story. Can I can I tell my story? I, I think he just fell asleep. Hey, Cloudy. I'm feeling pretty sad today. Would it be okay if we talked about it? Great, that would that would really help me feel better. We just saw what it would look like to have blue zone behaviors while talking to a friend. Does that feel like something that is expected or unexpected? I think that anyone could be right in this situation because it could be a little bit of both. It is a great idea to talk to a friend when you're feeling sad because they are, friends can help us feel like we're back in the green zone by talking through it. So it is expected to talk to a friend when you feel sad. However, sometimes if you're sad and you're talking to a friend or you're bored when you're talking to a friend, that might to them feel unexpected and they might feel confused or worried about you. So I'm going to say that you can, let's do like a half, let's do a different color here. And we're going to do a half circle on this one because I think sometimes it's expected and sometimes it's unexpected and that can change. Okay, last one, sleeping at night. It is, is it expected or unexpected to feel tired, sad, or bored when sleeping at night? Let's see what that looks like. Take it away, friends. So tired. Ooh, good night. Okay, you guys just saw another example of what it looks like to have blue zone behaviors while sleeping at night. Do you think that is expected? or unexpected. Yeah, that's expected, right? So we don't need to circle this one. We want to feel tired and have tired behaviors when we're sleeping at night. Otherwise we can't sleep. Oh, that wouldn't be fun. So you don't need to circle this one. It is expected to have blue zone behaviors when sleeping at night. All right, friends, go ahead and take a quick brain break before our next part of the lesson when we're going to talk about these feelings down here. All right, see you in a minute. Welcome back from your brain breaks, everyone. Let's move to our next question here. And it says, when I have blue behaviors and it is unexpected, other people might feel, and then we're gonna circle which of these feelings people would have if we have blue zone behaviors in an unexpected way. So remember from our last part of the video, we talked about the unexpected places for blue zone behaviors and it was at school, at a carnival, and sometimes when talking with friends. But remember 
friends are a great person, great people to talk to when we feel sad. Friends can be there for us. So sometimes it's unexpected and sometimes it is expected. So let's move to this question here. Which of these feelings do you guys think people would have around us if we had blue zone behaviors in unexpected situations? So let's pretend, let's, let's pretend we're at a carnival, okay? Carnival is a place where we usually have green zone behaviors because carnivals are fun. They have games and candy and lots of fun things to do. So pretend I am having blue zone behaviors and we're at a carnival. How would that make you feel? Would you feel confused? Probably, yeah, because we're at a fun place and I'm feeling sad. You'd be like, Miss Walker, why are you sad right now? I don't understand. We're at a carnival. So you probably feel confused. <laughs> what about worried? Would you maybe feel worried about me? Yeah, you might be worried about me because I'm feeling sad at a really fun place. And that's unexpected. What about sad? Would you maybe feel sad if I feel sad at a carnival? You might feel sad, yeah. You might feel sad because I feel sad and you're worried about me and confused. How about uncomfortable? This one says uncomfortable. If I am feeling sad at a carnival, having blue zone behaviors and just kind of sitting on a bench somewhere by myself, would you feel uncomfortable? Maybe, maybe not. You can decide on this one. I'd say I would because I would be like, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to help you. Um, so I'm going to circle uncomfortable. The last two are proud and happy. Let's talk about proud. Would you feel proud of me because I'm feeling sad at a carnival? No, that would be silly. So we're not going to circle proud. You would not feel proud of me for being sad at a carnival. Okay, last one is happy. Would you feel happy if I felt sad at the carnival? No, I would hope not. That would make me sad if you felt happy about me being sad at a carnival. So we're going to not circle these two. You don't need to circle proud or happy, but I'm guessing most people, if I am showing blue zone behaviors in unexpected places, they would feel confused, worried, sad, and maybe a little uncomfortable. Okay, friends, let's move to the next page of your packets. It looks like this. Whoops. We're going to talk about these feelings now. When I have a blue behavior and it is unexpected, other people might be thinking, hmm, what? What do you think others are thinking when we have unexpected blue behaviors? Let's go through each of these together. First one says, am I boring her? Am I boring her? Okay, so let's picture two friends talking. You, you and me are having a conversation and we're having, we're talking at recess and I'm doing this. I have blue zone behaviors. So I might be looking away, looking down, looking glum like this. Yeah. Would you be thinking, am I boring her? Maybe. If I look bored, you might wonder if I'm bored. So yeah, I think we're going to circle this one. Oop, there we go. They might be thinking, am I boring her if we're talking and we're in an unexpected place? All right. What about she's fun? If I'm sleepy or tired or bored or sad and doing this, mm, does it look like I'm having fun? No. So we're not going to circle that one. I don't think other people would think I'm having fun if I'm ugh, like this. What about, I guess I'll play with someone else. Yeah, they might be thinking that because this is, let's pretend this is Ms. Walker. I'm looking sad and I'm feeling sad and I look bored or tired. Would you want to play with me? You might ask if I'm okay and ask if I want to play. But if I'm feeling sad and just kind of lazily playing with you and I'm tired, you might want to play with someone else. You might have this thought too. And that's okay. We might have this thought. Here's the last one. It says, I'm worried about her. 
if Miss Walker is on the playground and we're playing a game and I'm like, <sighs> hmm, and I start crying, would you feel a little worried? I'm worried about her. Yeah, I think you would feel that way. That's This might be a thought that you would have. So we're going to circle this one. Let's go through them one more time to review. When I have blue behaviors and it is unexpected, other, pe blah, 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 other people might be thinking, am I boring her? I guess I'll play with someone else. Or I'm worried about her. Yeah, they might be thinking those three things. Awesome job, friends. Make sure you circle those. Take another quick brain break. Get some wiggles out. Get a glass of water and come back and we'll move to the next page of our Blue Zone packet. Welcome back from your brain breaks, friends. I hope you got some water, got some wiggles out. Now let's get back to it. This one says, when I have blue behaviors and it is unexpected, so like in the classroom, when we're hanging out and playing with a friend, or when we're at a carnival, other people might be saying, mm, let's read each one of these together. This is Miss Walker. Let's pretend we're at a carnival again, and I'm sad, and I'm or I'm bored, and I'm doing this, and just sitting down and looking glum. You might come over and say to me, would you say, are you listening to me? Maybe, because I might be looking like away from you, or I might be oh, looking sad, like I'm bored. You might say, are you listening to me? Because I don't look like I'm listening to you. When I'm feeling in the blue zone, sometimes I don't look like I'm listening. Mm -hmm. What about this one? It says, did you sleep last night? If I'm doing this when we're talking, do I look kind of tired? Yeah, I look a little sleepy, huh? So you might say something like, did you sleep last night? Are you okay? <laughs> oh, there's that one. Are you okay? You might ask if I'm okay, because I don't look like I feel okay. I look a little, little tired or sad, like this. So you might ask, are you okay? Do you think you would say, are you fun? Or you are fun, if I'm doing this on the playground or at a carnival? Do I look like I'm having fun? No. So we don't need to circle this one. We circled, are you listening to me? Did you sleep last night? And are you okay? Those are the three things here that we that other people might say when we are showing blue zone behaviors in unexpected places. Thanks for finishing that page with me, friends. We're going to move to the next one. Here we are on the last page of our Blue Zone packet for today. And it says, circle the things that make you feel blue. So this is you, not me. You, my friends. Think about what makes you feel blue. What makes you feel sad, bored, or tired? Where do you feel blue? Is it when you're doing homework? Is it when you're exercising? What about in school or watching TV? Circle any of these that you feel, that make you feel blue. So let's think about them. We have riding the school bus. Do you feel blue on the school bus? What about gym class? This person looks pretty blue. Do you feel blue in gym class? What about when you're reading? Does reading make you feel blue? What about being sick? Sick is a blue zone feeling. So does it make you feel blue? Probably, I would circle this one for everyone. Maybe everyone can circle this one. Feeling sick, because when we're in a sick, that is a blue zone feeling. What about putting away my toys? Do you feel blue, bored, or sad, or tired when you're putting away your toys? Circle that if you do. How about not getting enough sleep? Well, if we're not getting enough sleep, we're probably tired. And tired is a blue zone feeling, so I'm definitely going to circle this one. Not getting enough sleep. And then last, having to clean my room. If your parent or guardian comes up and says, hey, you need to clean your room. Do you feel sad or bored or tired? If you do, circle this one. I'm going to read these again, just in case you missed it. And I want you to circle the ones 
that match for you when you feel blue. If you feel blue during these times, circle that picture. Homework. Exercise. School. Watching TV. Riding the bus. Gym class. Reading. Being sick. Remember, we all circled this one because being sick is a blue zone feeling. Putting away my toys. Not getting enough sleep. Everyone circled this one too because we all are in the blue zone if we're tired. And having to clean my room. Okay, friends, that is the end of our lesson today. I hope you learned a whole lot about the blue zone and we'll be back next week with a story about the blue zone. See you then. Bye.